My name is Ajibola Tajuddin, but you can call me Kimi. And today we're watching Conversations with Kimi, a show where we ask stuff and we make stuff. Today we're going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. Season three of our show is about West Side Story, highlighting all the things that we'll be doing during the show. And we usually make different craft items, but this time each of our guests will be making a loop that will add on to a chain that will bind us all together as a community in West Side Story. Now, Please help me in welcoming our partner nonprofit guest um, with Building One Community, our executive director, Catalina Horak, and special projects advisor, Michelle Salvador. Yeah. Perfect. So, what's your mission as the nonprofit? So, our mission is to support immigrants in our community. We provide a number of programs and activities so that we all feel like we're part of our community, that our immigrants feel welcome, and our wider community makes them feel welcome. We all believe that immigrants contribute to our community, to make our community stronger, and we are very diverse. We have people from 80 plus different countries. So just like in West Side Story, you know, you have many cultures, uh, many ethnicities. That's who we are and what we do. What made you decide to want to be a founder of a nonprofit? Was it always a goal of yours, or was it just maybe a little bit of craziness, like not knowing what I was doing? <laughs> she was going to be a scientist. Oh, a scientist. Okay. Yeah. So that was my what type first of life. Um, a geneticist. Oh. Okay. I did a you know, I majored in biology in college, and then did a master's in genetics. Uh, but then life just throws curveballs at you and you start doing things that are different. What are some challenges that you both face every day in this line of work? I'll have Michelle talk about challenges. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you from my perspective, it's just lives, the lives of people are mm -hmm. so complicated and sometimes you feel so powerless because there's really nothing you can do other than make sure that people know that they are welcome and that you care about them, and that you see them as a human being, and not as a number. And, uh, and I think that that's, again, it relates to the story. We all have something to contribute. You know, we all come from different perspectives, and, and making sure that people see that, and, and that we all constantly value that, um, to me, is, is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. And I think I, I agree with that. I think. I see them as opportunities more than challenges. Um, and one is information and sharing um, the work we do, sharing our clients' stories and our clients' trajectories. And once people hear and understand that, um, they really um, want to act. They really want to change. They really want to uh, be more welcoming, um, be more understanding of the circumstances that uh, people are going through. Um, so it's... It's a place I love hearing from our clients that this center is a place that they feel is home to them, that they always find the friendly face, that they always find the smile, um, and that's something I like to take into my life everywhere else I go, which is keep that in mind. Um, sometimes a smile, sometimes um, a little craft um, will change someone's life for the, for the better. Our upcoming show is West Side Story, mm -hmm. and the story of West Side Story is about people not being tolerant for those who don't look or act like mm -hmm. them. Has there, has there been any time in your life or in this organization where you felt this way? It has been. I have had many times in my life being an immigrant and not speaking the language and moving into a different um, country where I have felt different and where my own, who I was, was not welcome. And, and having that um, internal, you know, you're wrestling with, like, do I want to fit in and become who I'm not? Or do I continue to be the person who I am and um, still, and if people don't accept me, then that's okay. But this is who I am about that all of us together make the community stronger and our diversity adds. So it's a little bit of like, we like to use the, that example of the smoothie versus the fruit salad. <laughs> like if you put everything in a blender, then, you know, it becomes this mushy thing with like pinkish, orangish, you know, yellowish. 
but it's like you don't see the individuality of the fruits. But if you have a fruit salad and you have all the little pieces of fruit, then you get to see the pineapple and you get to see the mango and you get to see the papaya and then you get to see the banana and you know, kind of all the flavors actually add up to more than if you put it in a blender. So that's kind of why we believe that the blender model is not the good model. The, the good model is the fruit sal salad model. And just, I think the more we um, share each other's backgrounds and, the, and our own stories, the richer we are and the um, better positioned we are to um, live in our communities that are very um, diverse. So we have, in, in Fairfield County, we have communities who are diverse. There are a lot of immigrants and um, just understanding um, that currently there, there is a climate of um, people feeling like they don't belong on their, they're not accepted um, and, and how we each can do our little part at um, welcoming each other and at saying, um, I want to learn more about you, I want to learn more about where you're coming from, what kind of challenges you're um, facing. Um, I think that goes a long way to bringing that um, empathy. What advice would you guys give to young leaders? Be who you are. Find your own voice. And if you find your own voice, when you get together with other people, that voice will be stronger. Find the passion or make something your passion and really follow it. Stand up for it and, and fight for it. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us here on Conversation with Kim. Can we show our work for that was yes. what we did? That was what we did. Ooh, yeah. that was a beautiful <laughs> link. So, hey, I have one more idea. Why don't we each one sign a hand. Um, this is one of our symbols, which is the symbol of a community, and we're building it together. So why don't we have the entire West Side Story community sign a hand and put our names on it? Okay, that sounds really good. I I'm down for that. All right. <laughs> we'll start here. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on Conversation with Kimi. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. Thank you so much, Michelle and Gintanita, for joining me today. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope you guys remember your voice is your power. So use it. Kimi out. Conversations with Kimi is produced with support from the Department of Economic and Community Development, Connecticut Office of the Arts, which also receives support from the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency. <laughs>